Well, there you have it. We are looking at images, defining images of Afghanistan right after the Taliban takeover. The country has plunged into absolute darkness. Let's take a quick look at those defining moments over the last few days in Afghanistan. Here's Taliban blowing up slain Hazara leader Abdul Ali Mazari's statue in Bamiyan, who they killed back in 1995. In 2001, they blew up the giant statues of Buddha and all historical and archaeological sites there. And then you have the Taliban that set fire to an amusement park in Shebergan. In fact, the triggers for the attack were statues present in that park. Taliban enforce strict Islamic rules now, which oppose any form of idols being erected. And the medieval age is back in Afghanistan. Taliban beat and threatened locals by pointing guns, rocket launchers at them. Many people were detained. Streets at many places bear deserted look with only gun-totting Taliban roaming freely on the streets, every corner of Kabul and most parts of Afghanistan. <laughs> And here the U.S. has withdrawn troops from Afghanistan, but they have left many modern ammunition behind. The guns and ammunition have now fallen to the hands of the Taliban. Several U.S. armored vehicles were also seized by the terror group. It appears that all that high-tech machinery has now, Taliban has managed to wind them up and take them in their control. And here you have the first reported women's protest in Kabul following the takeover of Taliban. Four brave women holding placards, standing up against armed Taliban terrorists, seeking education, jobs, human rights in Afghanistan. Incredible courage and grit in these testing times. <laughs> And after being seen exercising at the gym in the presidential palace, Taliban terrorists are now playing games in the park. They can be seen playing volleyball while some were standing guard outside the park. They were also seen eating ice creams, really having a field day after such war crimes that they committed through the last months. Finally, after they took over Kabul, it seems like some amount of uh, peace amongst the Taliban itself. Finally, they're letting loose to play some games there and have a light moment. Now, days after coming into power in Afghanistan, the Taliban has resumed its cultural genocide. The Taliban damaged the statue of Hazara leader Abdul Ali Mazari in Bamiyan. The incident similar to their raising of the famed Buddha statue of Bamiyan years ago. Leaders of minority Hazara community, Abdul Ali Mazari, was butchered by the Taliban in 1995. His statue, which was erected later, has now been turned into rubble by the Taliban. Pictures of the now desecrated statue in Bamiyan were widely shared on social media. Bamiyan is the same place where the Taliban had blown up the iconic Buddha statues in 2001 on the orders of its leader Mullah Muhammad Omar. Abdul Ali Mazari, an ethnic Hazara, was a prominent leader in the fight against Taliban. He was abducted, killed by the Taliban and his body flung from a helicopter in Ghazni back in 95. Hazaras are mostly minority Shia Muslims and have been prosecute, persecuted there by Sunni Taliban. Hazara girls are often abducted, trafficked as sex slaves by the Taliban. Let me cut across to Geeta Mohan joining us live more on that. Geeta, uh, as much as the Taliban claims that it wants to carry out peaceful governance, first of all, they do not have any experience in governing any country. They're uh, supposed to be a terrorist group as per the, the way the world looks at them and the way they've harbored several terrorist organizations, including the Al-Qaeda. Here, on one hand, they say that they want peace and they want order. They will implement Sharia law and they will go forward giving equal rights. Um, and harmony in the country. On the other hand, they're blowing up statues one after the other, and that's already uh, making Afghanis panic. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, the Nabila, the Afghans are absolutely now living in fear. Those who were uh, not, who fought against the Taliban, who uh, who were raising their voice against the Taliban, and look at the visuals. On the one hand, the first press conference of Jabir uh, Mujahid, uh, we've never seen his face before. The first time he uh, showed himself to the public, to the world, uh, said that there is going to be no discrimination. But on the ground. Uh, Hazaras were treated very badly during the Taliban regime, and now we see a return of that with right. uh, the uh, most prominent slave leader sta statue right. having been de desecrated by uh, the Taliban. Geeta, I, I, I'd like to cut you short. Do stay with us. I'm going to come back to this story in just a moment, but here's some breaking news coming in.